what's going on YouTube thanks for tuning into the channel welcome to DAC attack this video I am going to go through the real game and the real game is economics I pray you go back to college Ricky Rose but the reason why I bring this up is it's something especially with the whole pandemic and stuff you have so much time to think to yourself about your past actions and things you do and a lot of time on YouTube I'm a product of YouTube just like you but most of the time when I hear people talking about game and what that means generally they're talking about chasing women that is 90% what it is if you type that in on the Google machine the YouTube machine those are the videos that are gonna pop, pop up how to get her back how to do an approach what what opener to use how to beat lmr you know dhv spikes different shit like that taking different pills red pills blue pills and purple pills getting fucked up i'm not a pill popper and the real game is economics it's the money and the reason i say this is because when i look back on my life i look at the time that i've spent and the results i've gotten in both realms when i focused on my economics when i focused on the the punani and generally it's like the results and the rewards that i feel like i'm getting on the punani side is not very long lasting especially if you're a person that's kind of in my position where i'm really not looking for anything long term really i want to build myself up foundationally and be in a position where you know i'm financially independent before i bring any of that into my life and i'm just the older I get, the more and more I get uh, very solid on this fact. And I want to go through kind of four reasons why. So number one is just kind of that first statement that the, the real game is economics and that is over communication because that is power. And actually, when you think about the words communication, they say about 70% of all communication is nonverbal. Having actual money, economics is a form of nonverbal communication, whether it's, you know, the clothes you wear, the confidence you exude because you know, you know, you're not living the same way most people are living, the different decisions you can make, the different ways you can act, the way people respond to you, especially if you've earned it in a way that is, you know, merit meritocracy, uh, merit like a meritocritus, I think that's the word, meritocritus way. Um, basically that you work for it. It wasn't just given to you, it wasn't an inheritance. If people know that and can see that there is a different level of respect and um, notoriety you will have and be able and stain to use, you know, the words the kids are saying these days, you'll have just a different level of stain, a different level of thoroughness to your person, to your ethic. Um, now, I don't wanna like say that being able to communicate in an effective way, knowing some of those things that I talked and I joked about before are not beneficial, but it's kind of like access. Like if you are, you know, bottom of the barrel, you're not gonna get the girl you think is the highest quality. It's just the chances of you doing it is just low and then the chances of you keeping it is very low. And the terms you're going to actually have because of the respect they're gonna have for you is gonna be low. Now, if you flip it on the other way, and every, both people are like a five in communication, if he has all of these resources, he can use the same communication, but his nonverbals are gonna be stronger because he's controlling his own economics. The next thing, and I would kind of combine one and two there. The next thing is really like, if chasing women is your purpose, one, you're gonna be broke. You're gonna be unfulfilled and you're going to chase something that is very ephemeral. Like, you can only have sex so many times, um, and after it, you still have to sit with your own thoughts. You still have to sit with your own anxieties. And if you don't have something else you're chasing too, you're going to be insecure. I know when I thought, think back to like 24, 25, when I was really focused on like, I'm watching all these pickup videos and shit like that. Like. I would spend all that time doing it and it made me not happy. I'd be going to bars and clubs that I did not want to, like I don't really spend that much time now there and I wasn't really ever comfortable and you could smell it on me. Like I have my own good situations and I've had my own cope approach successes but in terms of the quality that I've gotten, it it wasn't worth the trade mentally. And then you wake up tired, especially if you're doing shit at night. So chasing all these things it's like 
you're chasing something that is not going to stay with you. When you chase money, it's going to stay with you and then the women come with it. Chasing women does not bring you money. So it's like one of those things where what do you want to put first? And then the next thing is the prioritization. I think a lot of people are consumed with this idea that, and this is something for me that has this year has been a big change because the last year, I'll just be honest with you guys. Like I did my own things. I was going on a lot of dates. I was, you know, I moved to, you know, New York. I'm living in Brooklyn. I'm a single dude. Got my own studio. You know, that exudes things because that is a form of economics. Obviously, I can afford all of this. But when I look at the what I have to show for all of those different girls, all of those different experiences, not saying I would trade them, but it really left an imprint on me that, you know, number one, they're not bringing that much to the table besides the punani. From that other aspect, I still need to follow my life. But looking at myself now, I have other hobbies, uh, whether it's jujitsu, I have a financial plan in terms of, you know, real estate and something like this with the YouTube trying to put up videos and, and start my own business and do something on that front. Um, that, you know, one makes me more secure that it is take it or leave it for me because I got other things. My time is really filled up. Uh, but on the other end too, in a couple years, you know, what I will have to attract and the access I will have to the quality of woman that I actually want is going to be so much greater because I've built myself up. I got my shit together and I am not just man or woman, just as a person, I'm more established than the average person. Even today, I'm more established than the average person. But moving forward, if you really have a financial plan, really chase the economics, you will be more established. That's why I think that's the real game. When you look at all these protests that kind of brought in it to everything, you look at all these protests, you look at the essential workers that still have to um, basically put themselves in harm's way to the coronavirus, bus drivers dying and shit like that. You look at the people protesting about police brutality, some of them are celebrities, but a lot of them are people that don't have a job right now that got laid off, that are out there doing the thing. If you control your own economics, it will change all of that shit. Because when you control your own economy, people start to play on your terms. And you can look at this in a multitude of different directions. If you control your own economy, you know, there's people like employees that can work for you. So you can, can, you can literally give somebody, um, especially in this time, if you can give somebody a job, like you are a fucking powerful person. In terms of, you know, women, obviously, if you're a business owner running shit successfully doing that, you'll have control over that. But then even also in the government, when you think about how your paycheck works, when you work as an employee, the government literally takes more shit from you because of your subservient position. So that's why, you know, really making that move, and I know they have this whole like, MGTOW is a big movement. I'm not really into the men going their own way. I'm trying to just go my own way. I'm trying to go away from the masses of men too. So it's not like a man woman thing in my mind. The only part of that that I do agree with is men guarding their own wallet. And that's really the purpose of this whole thing is that you really need to take your financial life seriously because that's the shit that's gonna follow you. All of these quick thrills, you know, you spend five, 10 years you know, just trying to chase chicks, it's like, and you don't stack any money, what are you gonna have to show for it? When in two to five years, especially in this time where there's so much turmoil, where there's turmoil, there's opportunity, if you really just focus on your economics for these two to five years, and you can sacrifice some other things, and Punani's gotta be one of them, there's only so much time in a day. Even with jujitsu sales job and doing all those dates, that was the number one thing I realized. It was like, this shit was not sustainable financially or time-wise, but I digress. If you spend these two to five years really focusing on that, the place you can be in your life will be life-changing because I feel like I've been moving at 80% and I've grown in the last five years from you know making $25,000 a year to you know basically on track to make six figures um, most years in terms of what my salary says, you know, depending on how I've been off of work and things like that, uh, switching jobs and things like that have affected me. So I'm not going to say that's what's always on my W2, but in terms of the contract, that's what I'm on target to produce if I stay there for a significant amount of time. So that's it for this one. I just really wanted to bring that up because I feel like there's a lot of information out here telling specifically dudes that, you know, don't worry about money, 
Don't worry about how you look. Don't worry about none of this shit. You know, all you need is an opener. All you need is the peacock. All you need is the DHB. And that shit is so shallow that all of your worth you're putting into the validation of another person. When it's like, if you kind of go internal, build yourself from the inside out, stack up, build a foundation, then people will come. You build it and people will come. But a lot of these people are not building nothing and trying to come to these different things no pun intended but that's it for this one like the content like comment subscribe fuck with the vibe welcome to the tribe till next time peace out